Hello YouTube family, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita and welcome. In today's video, we're going to cover fragrances that are going to work all year. So it doesn't matter if it's 90 degrees outside or if it is 20 degrees outside, you can still wear these fragrances. You're still gonna get all the compliments and I just feel like these are extremely versatile. So it doesn't matter if you like it on the sweet side, if you love fresher fragrances, I've got you covered. And so without further ado, let's Let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right, you guys, before we start, as always, be sure that you are subscribed to the channel and make sure that notification bell is turned on. Give me a big thumbs up if you find any value in the content. All right, so let's start with this first one. This is Orpheon and this is from the house of Diptyque. And this is very unisex. It's very woody. It's very fresh and spicy and like millionaire status, okay? Might as well say billionaire now because billionaire is like a new millionaire. A million ain't much these days, but what I love about this is it's very powdery. So there is this sense of comfort, but it's got so much kick to it because it is very woody and it is very aromatic. And this fresh spiciness that comes through really gives it a sexy quality. So this smells amazing on a man, but I too pull it off beautifully. So this opens with top notes of juniper berries. You have middle notes of jasmine and you have base notes of powdery notes, cedar and tonka bean. You do have to love cedar to vibe with this one. I think you do have have to love juniper berry. If those two things are, you know, things you typically agree with and you don't mind a powdery, musky type scent, then this one is one you should check out because it is so wonderful smelling. Fresh, spicy, aromatic, woody, this is the one, all right? Again, this one is Orpheon and this is from the house of Diptyque. So next up is a fragrance that really blew me away when I sampled it and I cannot wait to get myself a full bottle. This is from the house of BDK and this is Creme de Queer. So so basically this is going to be like this suede scent, but it is paired with the most beautiful pineapple scent. So that pineapple is definitely going to give you this vibe where you wanna wear this in the spring, the summer, it's all of the good sweet pineapple juiciness, but there is like this collision or this juxtaposition of things that you just normally would not pair together. And I love that about this scent. So this opens with top notes of pineapple, grapefruit, bergamot, orange. You have middle notes of white suede, sandalwood, pink pepper, and black pepper. You have base notes of cashmere, vanilla, white musk, gray musk, and birch. So it is, very suede musky and you get so many delicious fruits in the top but this cashmere really does give you this sense of comfort of cozy that is why it's one you can easily take into fall and winter so this is going to be an all-year wear that's fruity and suede but very versatile very very elevated scent as well so classy and so chic and i love this one also quite unisex but i think this leans just slightly feminine all right again this one is creme de queer and this is from the house of bdk Next up is one of my favorites, and this is going to be a budget-friendly brand option, and this is Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud Tonka. So I tried the original Velvet Tonka by BDK, which is what this one is supposed to be very close to in scent profile. I actually enjoy this better. This does not fall flat on my skin like Velvet Tonka does, and it's a little sweeter. And I just find that if you want this gorgeous mix of white florals, primarily orange blossom, you want something very fresh, powdery, but then all of this warmth from a tonka bean and sweetness from vanilla that really does shine in this, this is what you need, okay? This wears like a loud beast, even though the scent itself is definitely on the fresher sweet side. It is phenomenal and you don't need a lot, but if you wanna spray a lot, you're gonna fill the room, okay? And we love a fragrance that is under $50 that we can do that with, all right? Shag of Oud Tonka doesn't have any Oud, so rest assured you don't have to worry about this, just in the name, but when I highly recommend you get your nose on. If you want something like Velvet Tonka, but better and much better performing. Again, this one is from the House of Swiss Arabian. Next is going to be a gorgeous, very sweet, very woody fragrance that's very feminine. You already knew. From the House of Donna Karen, this is Cashmere Palo Santo. I have been going on about this since it was released. Blind bought it, just saw the notes. I said, hey, I want to try it. Put it in the bag. Love this scent. This features a peach. It's got a labdanum note, just adding a little sexy quality to it. And it's got a lot of vanilla and it's got Palo Santo. So the scent profile of this is very simple, but something about it, you guys, the way this is blended, it just smells so sexy. This almost reminds me a little bit more of Vanilla Vice from Sniff. A lot of people say they get KLE Silk Suntal vibes from this. I don't get that because Silk Suntal is very floral. It's sweet in a different way, 
way, but I can see maybe because they both have the nectarine. They both have uh, lots of vanilla, but this one is just chef's kiss. It's very sexy. It's super sweet. And because it's so thick and sweet, you can wear this definitely fall winter, but I think this is one you can go a little lighter on the trigger and absolutely wear spring and summer because it does have that gorgeous woodiness and the peach. So again, this one is the very cozy and sexy cashmere and Palo Santo from Donna Karen. Next is going to be Perpetual. This is from the House of Merez. And this too is very Tonka, but also very almond and cherry centered. Even though I'm saying Tonka almond cherry, this wears also really sweet and just something fresh about it. They're not going to smell exactly alike, but they're like in the same family. I would say that because I do get that question, but there are definitely some differences here where you're not gonna get any cherry anything misconstrued in Utanka. This one, you're getting cherry and Tonka bean, and you're also getting something that wears just a little effervescent. And that is because you have a ginger that really has a beautiful kick to it, but it's not too much. And you have a whole middle of florals, which really give it a gorgeous feminine quality, giving us all year options, okay? So this opens with cherry, almond, ginger, orange, middle notes of iris, jasmine, patchouli, and rose, base notes of brown sugar, tonka bean, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. I think this is just beautifully balanced. You're getting a lot of the top notes. All throughout, you're getting a lot of the top notes. The florals, nothing really stands out. It's all blended to just make everything feel very easygoing, feminine, everyday wear. The patchouli doesn't stand out. I don't get a whole bunch of rolls. I don't get a jasmine scent and I don't get anything that's particularly iris forward. Even though you're going to get a little touch of powdery because you have the tonka bean and you have the iris, again, nothing jumps out at you. So beautiful blend. You can wear this fall, spring, winter, summer. It doesn't matter. This is one that's just going to work. And this has pretty good longevity, especially for something very cherry forward. It really does stick around on your skin. But again, if you're into something a little fresher with some cherry and a little warmth in there, then Perpetual is one you've got to check out. This one again is from the House of Moresque. Next is from the House of Tamin, and this is Patiala. So clearly we love this scent. This is so beautiful. You just need to try it. If you are a lover of aldehydes, amber, a little rose, then chances are you will love this scent. Now, this has a lot of different things going on. And the way I can best describe this is if you take like a Baccarat Rouge type base, because it does have the oak moss, it does have the amber. And the way that it's done in here is very Baccarat Rouge S, but this is not going to be like some clone or dupe of Baccarat, not at all, because you have those fresh elements at the top, taking it out of that realm of super sweet, sugary, resinous scent. So you have the aldehydes that really do shine, but they don't wear in a mature way. Then you have rose, orange blossom. And when I tell you the rose and orange blossom are just sharing that spotlight in the middle and they balance each other out so beautifully. So this wears with amazing performance. I actually live this with the Baccarat Rouge. And when I tell you, I got a compliment from someone many feet away. This lady was just coming into the door, like the, she crossed the threshold and I was probably a good, gotta be a good like 15, 20 feet away because I'm sitting at a desk that you have to walk a good distance, several doors down and the sillage just really lit up the place. And I was primarily wearing Patiala. I just had a little bit of Baccarat here and here, but honey sprayed myself down with Patiala and it just hits. This is feminine. I've been run down in public, harassed about what do you have on, you know, type of thing. And it's just so grossly underrated from this house. If you want something feminine, ambery, gorgeous, floral all year with some amazing longevity, then this is one you need. Patiala from the house of Tami. Next is a little newer to my collection. I picked this up during the fall, but when I tell you, Pre did not come to play with this release. This is Delphinus and I love this scent. This is very powdery in a purple floral way. Not in that musky like suffocating powdery way in a very purple floral way but is very vanilla for it and is very ambery so powdery ambery like how are we going to make this again a juxtaposition of notes it just works masterfully it's so well blended it's so beautiful and it is just one you really do need to check out 
I had a decant of it and as soon as it hit my skin, I knew I wanted a full bottle. So this is very unisex. So anyone can put this on and smell amazing. But this is just one that because you do have a powdery, so there's a little, a level of freshness to it. You do have a really rich, ambery, vanilla vibe to it. Then I find that it wears beautiful all year. So this is not gonna wear too loud and heavy. Same time, it's still going to be able to give you like some scent when it's cold outside. So it doesn't matter what the weather is doing, you can pull Delphinus off. So this opens with almond, incense, pink pepper, black pepper. You have middle notes of orris, heliotrope, orchid, and you have base notes of bourbon, vanilla, leather, tonka bean, amber wood, and patchouli. The leather is, oh my God, it is way deep down in the bag. I mean, you would almost have to tell me and I would have to like squint and try to find the leather in here, but you can't pick up on just a hint of it and you're getting a lot of orris. So if you're an orris girl, but you found the Apollonias and things of that nature was just a little bit too linear and soft wearing, okay? These base notes make this fragrance. A lot of vanilla, a lot of amber. We love it, okay? So this one again is Delphinus and this is from the House of Creed. Last but certainly not least is going to be from the House of Argos and this is Parfum. So this is very feminine, but this is going to be a beautiful, powdery, fresh citrus vanilla that is very complex, but very wearable. And because it has like this beautiful, sweet, ambery quality under it all, this is one you can wear as a signature scent. This literally Parfum, like they had signature scent in my Mind when they created this if I had to guess because this is one you can wear all year. So this opens with notes of Moroccan lemon, bergamot, violet leaf, orange blossom and ginger, middle notes of iris, pink pepper, lavender, lily of the valley, jasmine, Bulgarian rose, base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, musk, amber, ylang ylang, and sandalwood. So you are going to get that lavender done in the most beautiful, aromatic, but still very feminine way. I always say that lavender is very hard to pull off and for it to maintain a feminine quality, but they have done it very well in this fragrance. You get lots of white florals in here, but they are not too sharp. They are just done in a way that gives this fragrance a very gorgeous, classic feminine touch. The base with the vanilla, the tonka, the ylang, that's all balancing out the white florals so that there is almost like a creamy facet to it. But again, it is very powdery. So if you love powdery, almost aldehydic scents, even though they're not referencing aldehydes, this wears very aldehydic to me. So if you love fragrances like that, but you want something on the sweeter side, lots of vanilla, this is one I highly recommend. Again, this one is Argos Parfum. Right, that is my video for today, you guys. Please be sure that you are subscribed. Drop me a comment below and let me know some of your favorite fragrances that you wear all year. I would love to know because I need more in my collection because we love a versatile scent. Okay, be sure you are subscribed. I love you all, YouTube. Give me a big thumbs up and I will catch you guys on the next one.